Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brainbean here again. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a brand new keyboard from Razer. This is the Razer Black Widow Lite. And this is part of Razer's new productivity suite that also includes the Atheris mouse and the Goliathus mobile stealth mouse pad. And I'm actually gonna be teaming up with Razer to do a giveaway for this entire peripheral suite, but I'll have all the details on that at the end of the video. For now, we're gonna take a look at the Black Widow Lite, which is kind of designed to toe the line between gaming keyboard and also professional productivity keyboard. And so this is something that you could use, for example, with your Razer Blade 15 or use at the office. And so it's gonna give you some of the abilities to have your gaming profiles and also that mechanical keyboard experience, but also look clean and nice in the office. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at this keyboard. Starting as always with construction and design, the Black Widow Lite is a 10 keyless mechanical keyboard that has a matte finished aluminum top plate to give it a clean minimalistic look. Aesthetically, I like that they kept things simple, there's no LED indicators on the board, and instead the respective keys will change from white to green when their functions are enabled. The board is surprisingly lightweight and it's by far the thinnest Black Widow to date. Even the extendable legs are a little bit short, although this does make the board more comfortable to use without a wrist rest, and since there's not one included, it actually works out okay. I'm still on the fence about the choice to make it 10 keyless because I feel like most people who would use this for office work would want a 10 key. On the other hand though, it's small enough that it's easy to throw into a laptop bag with say your razor blade stealth. And to that point, I wish they would have included some kind of removable plastic covering to keep the switches from getting damaged while in a bag. Especially with the decision to make it 10 keyless and have it more mobile, I just think that kind of adding that extra step of protection really makes a lot of sense. And you can tell they were kind of thinking that way because they do include a braided micro USB cable that's removable from the keyboard during transport or putting in a bag, so they were kind of thinking in that way already. In terms of lighting, the Black Widow Lite, as you might expect, does not have chroma RGB lighting, and instead just has simple soft white backlighting, which I think is an appropriate choice for what the keyboard's meant to be. The keys are well illuminated for working in low light conditions, however, as I've said in every Razer keyboard review, those secondary characters remain unlit, which I think is even more of an issue with a keyboard meant for office use. The keyboard is controlled via Razer Synapse 3 software, which allows you to create custom profiles and macros, or use your gaming profiles from say your home computer and take those with you on the go. Even with the limited lighting, you still can adjust the brightness, and you can toggle between simple static lighting or a breathing effect as well. The Black Widow Lite comes with Razer's orange switches, which are the tactile non-clicky variety, which is the ideal switch for this type of keyboard. It gives you the tactile feedback that any typist would want without the loud distracting click that can disrupt fellow office workers. If you find that the sound is still a little bit too loud, Razer for the first time includes a set of O-rings and a keycap puller that you can use to install the O-rings on the keys to dampen the sound from bottoming out those keystrokes, which greatly does reduce the noise. Take a listen to this side-by-side -side sound test of the Razer Orange switches first without the O-rings and then with the O-rings. Now these new switches feature those walls on the sides of the stems that greatly reduce key wobble and they prevent dust from getting into the switch. Now this was my first chance to try the orange variant of these updated switches and much like the greens they are a huge improvement over the original orange switch. The keycaps on the Black Widow Lite are made of ABS plastic and they have a nice smooth texture to them. They feature the same clean font that's been put on all of Razer's modern keyboards which I think looks especially sharp when paired with the white backlighting. I personally think that they should have just left the chroma lighting on this board though, as it leaves the user with more options on how they want to configure the lighting. After all, there's really nothing wrong with a little bit of personalization, although I'm sure it does help keep the cost on the board down. 
I do really wish that it did come with some kind of cover to help protect the keyboard in a bag. And seeing how they went with the more portable design and going with a 10 keyless and a thin keyboard, I think that should have been included. I don't necessarily mind them leaving out the wrist rest on this one, as that would have been more to carry around, although they have been making really great feeling wrist rests lately, and that would have been a pretty welcomed addition. Of course, the gamer crowd is most likely going to stick with the more flashier keyboards out there, but there's something to be said for this keyboard's clean look, and I think we're actually going to see this board on more desks at home than we think just for its aesthetic alone, especially for those of you that love the Black Widow X. With Razer branching out into the professional world with the increasing popularity of their laptops, it makes sense for them to offer a line of peripherals to cater to that market. And I'm always happy to see manufacturers trying something new, so time will tell where we see the Black Widow going next. And really doing any typing for an extended period of time on a laptop is for the birds, so having a keyboard like this in your bag is a must for anyone who does any serious amount of typing. Overall, for 90 bucks, the Black Widow Lite is a solid keyboard. The new orange switches feel great, and the build quality is quite good. I'm also really excited to see Razer including more extras with their keyboards, because we finally got the keycap puller. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Like I said, I am going to be doing a giveaway for this entire suite of peripherals. Now, there's going to be a link located down in the description below where you can go and enter to win this peripheral lineup. Of course, let me know in those comments down below what you think about Razer branching out into offering peripherals that are a little bit more tailored towards office use, but also towing the line of still being gaming peripherals. Let me know what you guys think about that. It's kind of an interesting idea. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like to show your support. And if you're new here, I'd love to see you subscribe because I've got a whole lot more videos like this coming for you in the near future. You can also follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with the channel. Also see giveaway announcements and I do sometimes do exclusive giveaways just on Twitter as well. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.